today and we had a sitter for Darren. The RV's not ready yet. Um, we need to stock it, finish cleaning it. I had bug bombed up for bugs just to make sure. And it'll take a good week to get all the chemicals out of there for Darren to be safe to be in. So we're gonna use it next weekend. But this weekend, we're just gonna do truck and trailer. Uh, the sitter ended up having to call off because she was sick and Allie ended up getting called off work luckily so she's able to stay with Darren. However, changing Darren's diaper is not kind of a thing that we ever want her to do. So luckily my sister, I was able to call in a favor with her and she is a godsend. Let me tell you that woman. Um, I've called her in the middle of the night because CJ has been away at races and I've been sick and she's hopped right over and helped out with my kids. So my sister's just that type of person. Um, today she's able to come over and change Darren's diaper for us when needed. She doesn't live too far away from us and help us out. So we're able to make it to the race today because we thought we were going to have to uh, put Darren in the RV and right now that's just not the best thing for him. He'd probably have an allergic reaction with all the chemicals and the sprays and stuff in there. So we need to let it air out one more week and then he'll be good to go with us. We're kind of excited about that. I think he's excited about that. Um, he has really kind of come into his own this summer. He's moving around the house a lot more, which we really like. So um, we're ready to go race today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we have a good day with the car. TV for your own puddle got rained out, they called it. Um, so, I'm behind Tommy and Billy and Bill and Vicki, Allison right now. We are headed to Texas Roadhouse. Then we got Robert, Mike behind us. So, we're getting ready to go fill this place up. I was hoping to get a little further on that nitrous kit install deal at the track. Realistically, I think, looking at it, I feel like it's going to go together pretty quick. But wasn't left to be, so I'll get it done in the hat at the house and the, the car in there. We'll get out to testing it, get it dialed in. Hopefully for the for next weekend. Midnight Madness. That's what I forgot. <laughs> Midnight Madness is next weekend, and uh, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, without running off the road, that I've got this fogger installed. Everything's good to go, and we can uh, we can go out there and kick some ass. Ohio Grudge Racers had shared it 
about Ohio not making it past the first round. Well, Michigan didn't make it past the first round either. <laughs> there wasn't a first round, but uh, I haven't really read any of it. A picture of it was sent to me. Um, I didn't really get to read or see or know where it originated from. I'm assuming the Michigan guys. I'm assuming it probably originated from the ones that's tested there for a month or a month and a half and have 40, 50 to 100 whatever passes on the surface. Uh, super easy to call people out at that rate. Um, myself, Billy and Tommy showed up there. We was there to uh, A, we're not afraid to race them on their surface. Uh, B, see if we can make it past the first round. I understand their animosity. Uh, they're upset with us or because Ohio comes to Michigan and fucks them up every time we go there. Um, so for them to be tested and, and, and want to call us out or want to talk all that trash, I understand it. They want to beat us. So if it takes them testing night and day, they're going to do it. Um, I really don't have a whole lot or know what to say about it. I don't know where it originated from. I'm, I'm just hearing it secondhand. So I had planned on going there uh, mainly because I, I haven't been there in a while. I, I kind of like those races that they had there. They were they were fun races and I get to race people that I don't race every weekend. So it makes it kind of nice. Uh, so the race got rescheduled for yeah. September 10th. The race got rescheduled for September 10th. Ohio, if you can make it, go support. Uh, let's try and bring that Michigan money back to Ohio again. It's, uh, it's kind of a thing that happens when some of us go there, we, we, we usually do good. Not saying, not saying I'll make it past the first round. Not saying, you know, Tommy or Billy or any of us will make it past the first round. Odds are a few of us will. The more that go, the better our odds are to, to bring the bag back. And that's, that's what it's about with Michigan and Ohio is what I'm getting out of it. It's kind of like the, the football, Ohio State football, Michigan football. You know, this, this racing thing is kind of getting there to where Michigan racers hate us because we take their money time and time again. So in return, we got to go take their money. That's just the way it works out. Um, I'm sure at some point it'll change. They'll win. It'll be the best thing since sliced bread to them. But track record is it doesn't happen very often. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know what else to say. I wish I had more on the subject, but I didn't read the comments. I didn't read, I didn't come across the post. I don't even know, like I said, who, who posted it, but we was there to represent and it just couldn't get done. It, it got rained out. Like we pulled in what I unloaded the car, unloaded the car, we set up the merch tent didn't even get the merchandise stuff out. It got the golf cart out and it started raining. And that was pretty much a wrap. We stuck around until they called it. So, but, uh. Do you have any regrets? Because I know people were online, you know, trying to tell us to go to Max, go to Max, go to Max. So, what happened with Max? Yeah, that's. Everybody's saying it's gonna. Milan's gonna rain out, go to Max. The weather's beautiful this that and the other but the radar was showing different and I don't have any regrets um, I wanted to go to Milan anyway I wanted the back side of the track that's backside and street and stuff like that before it's doing well on the front side and eventually I like to get it on the front side and make it fast but right now I'm still playing with it trying to get the most out of this jetty and mags rained out anyway just like I was told it was going to they got first round in though that's all they got and it rained out it's rescheduled 
So regardless of where we went with the races in Ohio, they didn't, they wasn't gonna get done. Or not even Ohio, but the races we went in the area, whether it been whether it been Milan or Mags, neither one of them got done. One of them didn't get started. One of them did. So I don't have any regrets on my choice. So the last video that we raced in, um, where you made it to the finals two nights in a row, um, there were some comments about splitting money. You want to kind of go over that and how that works a little bit so people can understand it better about splitting a pot when you're in the finals. What, what, I mean, what comments are you referring to? I'm just... Work with me here. Well, I don't remember reading the comments, but I don't think a lot of people realize... I mean, back years ago when people raced, whoever won got the pot. Well, you know, a lot of racers nowadays, if you make it into the finals, a lot of them split. But people don't see that. They see the picture with the winner and a big slice of money. They don't understand that it most of the time is getting split. I feel personally... I feel like the winner should get the money. The promoter, whoever's doing the race, doing the payout, unless the race is advertised as a certain percent to first, certain percent to second, however they do it, however the racers or the race splits it up, I believe that the pictures, the money should all go to the winner number one guy that won and if there's a split discussed between them the first and second place I believe that they should take care of that themselves it should never be done by the promoter um, because these are winner take all races they're not they're not they're not split up by the promoter so the winner should take it all and if he made a deal with second place then he should or, or in one case it was second and third you know all three of the finalists and a large sum of money back in the day we didn't i didn't race for you know fifty five hundred dollars or eight thousand dollars or you know thirty six thousand dollars that shit was unheard of unless you were on a large scale um you know, back when i was a kid there was people that raced for ten thousand dollars a race i just wasn't involved in it so when you've got that much money and you've got two people in the finals it's kind of foolish not to guarantee yourself some money to go home in my case if the options there I feel like the second place guy had done extremely well to get to where he's at if you're both in the finals you don't know who's first you don't know who's second so it's just a guarantee and where I'm at I like the guarantee um, some money's better than none money Never. Yeah, because it's expensive to get expensive to go to these races. You know, they're two, three hundred dollar buy-ins. It takes one hundred fifty, two hundred dollars in fuel. Um, I'm a nitrous car, so I got to buy my power every pass. Uh, race fuel is expensive as hell. I mean, everything's up. So I am. I like the guarantee, um, and I will negotiate. I'll dick around and talk a little trash and. You know a lot of a lot of the me begging there was one there was one comment I do remember that one about me begging for this and I would never do that I would race for it all I'm gonna comment on this and I'm not being a dick I'm being real when your shits out there you do that me and you race tell me that's what you want that's fine uh, and a lot of people will you know if you're if you're that guy you're that guy uh, some of the best in the world are splitting the most winningest people in the world they're doing splits you're just not seeing no it. prep kings they're splitting so that's my outlook that's my information and that's where i'm at on so one thing also that we've been questioned on and kind of gotten a few comments on in regards to safety issue because I also knew that there was a post going around for a while about there was a pink car and a nitrous bottle had exploded in it and they were talking about torching it and heating it up with the and people's commented on you using a torch to heat up your nitrous yeah. bottle. Can you explain the right way and wrong way to do that and why you do that? Why I use a torch? Yes. And even though people okay. say that it's not safe. So I don't use a torch to heat my bottle. I have a bottle bath water, a water bath bottle warmer that I put my bottles in. It gets them up to temperature. 
if for some reason I'm sitting in the lanes, I've always got a torch in the car with me. If there's, for some reason I'm sitting in the lanes or it's cold and the bottle cools down, I use the torch to bump it up. Um, I don't leave my torch in one spot. I've seen people at races that just throw the torch underneath the bottom and the whole bottom of the bottle's burnt, burnt to hell. I don't do that. I'll go over my, my stickers, I torch everything. I'll, I'll always keep it moving, but if you look at my bottles, my shit's not burnt because I keep the torch moving. You never want to put a hot spot on it. Now the bottles are extremely thick. A torch isn't going to hurt it if you keep it moving. Don't get one spot hot. Um, I usually keep it towards the lower part of the bottle and on the sides. I never go up by the valve. It tends to get really, I don't know, the pressure builds real fast up there, but it's not heating the, the actual nitrous, and that's what you want. You want an even heated nitrous. So, like I said, I, I don't see where it's unsafe for me. The way I do it, I have seen where bottles have blown up. I've watched videos of bottles that have blown up. I've seen the aftermath and they just got way too hot or somebody left a torch on it. Um, it had too much pressure in it when they was filling it. I've seen, seen some stuff like that. So would you recommend using a torch if you were new to racing or an inexperienced racer? I'm not gonna ever recommend using a torch. I use a torch the way I use it um, to to keep my bottle to where I need it to be and I've also I'm gonna touch on this this is this is aside from the torch but I I have read some comments where whenever I was having my nitrous issue about if I run it at 900 or I run it at 950 what does a thousand or 1150 what does that matter I'm gonna I'm gonna answer this in this way that's what I was told that those solenoids should open at. If they don't open at 1150, there's something wrong. So that was that's why I was at 1150. Um, and my solenoids did randomly not open at 900 or 950. So with that, it was a. It ended up being the battery voltage. I haven't had a problem since, but it was because I knew that it had not opened at 900 and 950 is why if they didn't open at 1150 I was trying to figure it out I wanted to figure out why because if they will open at 1150 every time they're for damn sure going to open at 950 or 900 um, and that's where that is so where I forgot where I was we were talking um, about torch and bottles okay yeah that's if you're inexperienced and don't know what you're doing don't fuck with a torch if you get the bottle too hot and with a torch you're right there next to it it will fucking kill you i've had them really hot and not had any problems though i have watched the videos on how the bottles are made i have looked at all that I, i've seen how thick they are and what they go through uh, and anybody can go to youtube type it in it, you can see it. they show you how it's made I mean, the shit's like really thick, but just don't get any hot spots on it. That's and I've I've had nitrous for fuck. I was running nitrous when I was 16, not a lot, but I did heat bottles with torches then. <laughs> and it's I've never had one blow up. I'm not saying I won't. God forbid I don't. Uh, it wreaks havoc on everything around. But that's that's my output. I mean input whatever you want to call it I don't I don't have a problem with it because I keep it moving I get the whole bottle warm and with my water bath I mean the whole bottle is warm anyway so I just run it along the sides a couple times so usually I'm there so some some of these races they want they want you to come up an hour before Thanks. no prep kings was bad whenever locals we did the only. no prep king yeah the locals only they had us come up and we was set in the staging lanes for an hour or better hour and a half and it was a good 96 degrees out there so out there it was a problem keeping my bottles cool i had to like shade them and and keep the doors open to keep the bottle cool because it was trying to heat up too much i don't think i run my bottle warmer twice the whole day so that's that uh, I hope everybody likes what we, we got going on here. Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> Teach their own. If you want to heat it with a torch, heat it with a torch. If not, don't. But but know the risks and be cautious.